Hey what's up guys and welcome back to another video. So today I have another squad SDK tutorial video for you guys and so in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can create your own custom um, grenades that you can then um, add to your roles of your faction. So that's one of the things that you will need to have already set up is your own custom faction. Now if you guys don't have uh, one already or don't know how to do it I do have a video um, on that as well showing you guys how to create your own custom faction so I'll let it pop up somewhere in the video so you guys can watch, go and watch that and then come back to this video um, and just go on so I already copied over everything but um, I mean if you're in your um, your mods folder um, you want to go into your blueprints folder and then items and then in here I created the folder called grenades and so in here I have my generic grenade and I renamed it so I know it's my uh, custom one and then in here I also created a folder called smoke grenades and then in here is my generic smoke grenade so um, to find these blueprints you want to go into the uh, normal SDK's content folder blueprints items grenades and then in here you want to look for the generic grenade over here and then in here is also the smoke grenades folder and then you want to also look for the generic um, smoke grenade if I can find it um, oh yeah it's a generic smoke grenade and then you want to drag this over and then say copy not move and then once you guys have done that rename it quickly and then once you guys have done that um, I already have mine open here so we can start with the smoke um, by normal uh, normally if you first open it this grenade config won't be open like this, so you just want to click it. <coughs> Sorry. So, in here I changed the initial ammo to 4 and then the max ammo to 4 as well. And then there's a bunch of other settings here you can change. And now, um, up here is where you can change the smoke color. And if you scroll down, uh, you guys will see this is also where you can change the icons and whatnot and then I just changed the display name here to generic smoke and then you can give it a um, description if you want to so um, also one thing I did see is it says here ammo per rearm item so this is what it costs to rearm it at the ammo box or whatever so um, there's also one more thing um, that I'll probably show in the next video or a second part of this one is where you can set um, your own um, uh, where you can also set a projectile class now this is using um, the already uh, projectile classes in the SDK um, from squad but um, if you go to this um, if you open it it has um, a few other also um, stuff that you can change here um, like if you scroll down where is it um, I haven't really checked out the smoke grenade but for the no normal generic um, um, grenade um, you can change like the, the damage values and then how uh, what the range is and whatnot but um, we're not going to do anything with that um, in this video so uh, once you guys have done that or uh, did all of the grenade config stuff you wanted uh, we're gonna go to um, the generic grenade and I did the same for the grenade as well so I set the initial ammo to 4 and the max ammo to 4 as well now you can check your infinite ammo but I didn't do that so again there's a bunch of other stuff here you can set and then again uh, you can also set the projectile class here so um, I think I'll make a second tutorial for this um, going over that and then I'll also just change the name down here so once you guys have uh, done all of that you want to go into the role you want to add um, these two grenades in now so you want to go to free over here and then you want to um, click this plus um, icon here so it will add another um, value thing here and then by the equipment equipable item you want to go here and then search for your custom grenades then and then I already added a generic grenade here 
So um, you can set the minimum count on spawn and then the max allowed in inventory. So I'm gonna make this a uh, four. Well, let's make one. Um, I don't know if that's gonna change how much you actually have. So I want to add another one so you can add the smokes. So this is there's our uh, grenade, and then this one is gonna be our smoke. So I'm gonna quickly search for it and then select our smoke. And then all you do then is just save and then you're gonna go into your map and then I am quickly gonna click play. I'm gonna check if everything is good, yes. Just wait for it to um launch. Might take a little while for me because um, I haven't um, worked on this map in a while. Hopefully, it doesn't crash. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, I'm gonna cut the video here and then when I come back, um, we'll go on <laughs> with the video. Hey, what's up, guys? So, um, I'm back. So, um, I didn't. I weren't able to use the other map because every time I try to play um, it just crashes the SDK and says just tells me like a fatal error and um, I didn't really have time to <laughs> figure out what was the problem so I just opened um, one of my other maps if you guys are used to this one and I went in my world settings I just told it to use my custom faction from my other mod and so uh, one thing I did have to do is I had to remove the smoke grenades um, up here, um, the normal white ones, otherwise our generic smoke grenade wouldn't show up. So, um, but we can quickly click play. Advance and secure. Our mission is to secure all objective areas. Move out! So if I scroll down, you guys will see we still have our normal fragmentation grenade, but if we go down, you guys will see we have our blue and red smoke, and then over here we have our generic one that we created, and then our normal grenade, so I'm just really going to show you guys it works, if I throw it, and then our smoke grenade, everything works fine, all in dandy, I did see the color did not change, so I don't know what um, that's wrong if if I did something uh, or if you have to set it somewhere else but um, I think we'll go into that in another video but um, with that said if you guys did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't a thumbs down and also remember to subscribe if you haven't already and also remember to check all of the links in the video description and um, I'll see you guys in the next one